Hey, it's Mark Weiss. Uh, as of this week, uh, today is May 7, 2024. Steward, S-T-E-W-A-R-D, Health, a 30-some hospital chain doing business in eight states, has filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy, hoping to pull off a reorganization. It has recently defaulted on hundreds of millions of dollars of financing. It's been unable outside of bankruptcy to obtain new financing and is now hoping to go through a reorganization, a Chapter 11 filing, in order to, one would assume, uh, shed off existing debt or lots of it uh, and replace it with fresh debt that can keep it in business. So what went wrong? Well, a number of things. Number one, uh, and I'm not saying this is the major cause, but this is a PE-backed business. Uh, took on a lot of debt, wasn't able to pay it, wasn't able to refinance, defaulted on loans. The hospital system has an affiliated medical group that it's been trying to sell. Hasn't been able to do that. Apparently there's a deal on the table, but the deal hit some snags, didn't close. The money from that didn't come in. And as a result, all those things combined to result in the filing of bankruptcy. Now, a Chapter 11 bankruptcy is a reorganization. It's a chance for the bankrupt to operate, basically operate itself as a debtor in possession. It's hired uh, an executive from a restructuring firm to serve as its restructuring officer to try to get things righted. And if that's possible, then eventually they will emerge Maybe the PE firm will lose some or perhaps all of its equity. Uh, certainly the existing uh, debtors and it owes between, according to its filings, one billion and 10 billion to creditors uh, to, I would assume, thousands, uh, if not more, of creditors uh, will all end up uh, taking a, a haircut, perhaps receiving you know, pennies on the dollar uh, based on what they're, they're now owned. If they can't pull that off, then what happens is the entity simply goes into straight bankruptcy, Chapter 7, and closes down a liquidation. So when you hear the economy is doing well, you got to take that with a large grain of salt. Certainly hospitals complain that reimbursement cuts are what has, you know, caused this, you know, horrible economic climate for them. They'll talk about rising interest rates. They'll talk about the fact that here they previously sold their real estate to an REIT, but then had to pay rent. And what do you know? Rent goes up. At the end of the day, you could chalk it up to bad management. The sad part is that patients are at risk. And certainly all of those employed physicians are at risk because if the physician group business can't be sold, you'll have thousands of physicians out of a job, no existing medical record system, no existing equipment, and maybe depending on how mixed up patient relationships became or were made to become by the hospital system, maybe no patients either. you're not probably going to go out and open up your own hospital, although maybe some of you will, although the government's made that very difficult. On the other hand, for those of you who think that hospitals are safe places, are employers who will protect you because of size in this economy, despite what you hear on TV and in political campaigns, anything's bound to happen.